Today new iOS 17.1 update released that I'm installing on my iPad Pro. For that, I open Settings app, tapping General and click on Software Update, which is usually what we all do to get new OTA update. On my screen, you can see 6.12 GB update is available. So this is a big update for my iPad Pro, so I think this will take huge time. Ideally, we should update this big size update while we have enough time and a stable Wi-Fi connection nearby. Otherwise, be prepared to face the number of errors during the process. Let's see read first what is included in this update. This update introduces the ability for airdrop transfers to continue COPS the internet when you step out of airdrop range. This release also includes enhancements to Apple Music and support for Apple Pencil, USB-C, as well as other features and bug fixes. I'm click on Update Now button. A pop-up asking enter passcode, let's enter the passcode to move the next screen. Oh, you can see my screen is stuck on the Update Now screen. I don't know how much time it will take, but as I know, this depends on internet speed. If you have a stable internet Wi-Fi network, then you can install faster than me. So, this process depends on internet service providers and how Apple servers respond at your location. Sometimes, there is a massive rush on the Apple server because, simultaneously, users install software updates worldwide. Now I face an update requested error. This issue is so famous because most users pass through this screen. Update requested error you can solve my above given article by just tap on my button to read my blog. Or you can watch tricks to fix this issue in this video. Sometimes, this error goes away automatically after 8 to 10 minutes of waiting. But after 10 to 12 minutes of waiting, if your device is stuck on update requested, you have to follow some quick fixes. First is to change your Wi-Fi connection, which means you need to switch to another Wi-Fi network if available, or you can turn off your router and turn it again to improve Wi-Fi signal strength. If you're still experiencing issues, you may want to consider restarting your device's network settings. This can help resolve any network-related problems you may be encountering. Resetting network settings will reset all network-related settings to factory default. Like saved Wi-Fi passwords will be deleted. So please keep your Wi-Fi password on hand before resetting network settings. Have you tried putting your device in flight mode? It might help fix the issue you're experiencing. Just open the control panel and turn toggle flight mode on, wait for a few seconds and turn off flight mode. This airplane mode is useful while you're traveling in an airplane as well as to resolve some tiny bugs related to cellular signals and refresh Wi-Fi network. If your device running with low storage space, one quick solution would be to delete any apps or files that you no longer need or use. Additionally, you can try moving your photos and videos to cloud storage services like iCloud or Google Drive, or using an external hard drive to store your files. Sometimes, the download process is automatically paused, which I faced for the first time ever. But don't worry, I found that the same solution worked, which I performed to fix the update requested error. I have seen many users who solve the problems by deleting the downloaded file and then restart the device. After a fresh rebooting of the device, retry to download the new update and get the installation hassle-free. So try on your device if your device is continuously stuck on the update requested or paused screen. If you have installed a VPN on your device, please uninstall it until you get successfully updated to new software. VPN sometimes puts resistance between the Apple server and our device connection. Sometimes, VPN slows our internet speed. Hence, there is a chance of error not going away. Open the Safari browser to check your internet speed. I'm testing my internet speed. As you can see on my screen, download speed is 100.98 Mbps. Check on your device and write down a comment below about how much internet speed you have in your area. Sometimes, if you don't want to reset network settings, then you can forget a specific network and reconnect that network to faster internet speed. This works like a charm. 
If your device has an unlimited mobile data plan, take a chance to use a personal hotspot. If this works for you, then you have good luck. In my case, I cannot install it. In short, my device says unable to download at this time. This update requires a Wi-Fi network connection to download. So, my bad luck. I have to connect Wi-Fi network only. Let's comment below if this works for you or not. Sometimes, software update screen stuck on preparing update position. For this, I suggest that you should wait maximum. However, some unknown issues may cause this step to not go smoothly. In such a case, follow the solution that has been shown before in this video. Now the installation process is started. Initially, the device is stuck on the verifying update screen with a spinning wheel. If your device is stuck on the same screen, please read my article given in this video description and above the video card. Finally, the device goes into the final stage, a black screen with an Apple logo and a loading bar. This happens two times to get the hello screen. So, no worries, in case your device won't get back to the standard screen, please force restart your devices. But before that, please be patient to get the hello screen on its own. So this is all about getting new update on Apple devices. I hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel and like this video.